Welcome back pest collectors! Today's video is going to be all about Hello Kitty pest dispensers. At least this one series that I have in this box. And if you ask me, this is the coolest Hello Kitty pest series that exists. And I've been looking for this one for quite some time, but I finally found one for sale. So let's open this up and take a closer look. part about this pest purchase is I was on Facebook and the virtual pest convention was streaming live from Pez on the River and they were going around to the different dealer tables. I think it was on Saturday and somebody had these for sale, this Hello Kitty series. And so I saw who had them for sale and I wrote him a message on Facebook and I was like, hey, can I buy those from you? And he's like, sure. <laughs> so that's another way you can buy Pez. If you know someone that goes to conventions, you can have them buy stuff for you. Or, you know, if you're watching live streams from conventions, you can see who's selling them and go to Facebook and, you know, look them up. Most of the time the sellers are on Facebook, like in a Facebook group, so you can easily find them. And that's the case for this one, at least. <laughs> there was one other thing I wanted to buy, but I missed out on it. I guess I was just too slow at, you know, saying, hey, I want it. I really wanted this one. <laughs> Oh, look at this. Drew put his business card in here. So I bought these from Drew Lepper. You can see his contact info there. And he buys, sells, and trades Pez dispensers. <laughs> and he also makes really cool Pez products. Like, I don't know, he makes all kinds of different things like laser engraved or those dice that I got in my Michigan Pez swap haul. The wooden dice that had the Pez heads engraved on them. Those were made by Drew. And I'm always seeing stuff for sale that he's making on the Facebook group. So I think it's really cool. <laughs> but let's get these out and take a closer look. <laughs> oh yeah. He still has them in the little package from where I saw him hanging up at his booth. <laughs> these are so great. I've been wanting these for so long now and they're kind of hard to find. And they're kind of expensive for just four Hello Kitty Pest dispensers. I did pay $80 for this set of four, there's four in the set, but I think they're worth it. <laughs> Let's see, what one should we start with here? These are so great and they all look like they're in really nice condition as well. Check out the first one here. This is My Melody and all of these have crystal heads and they all have print on the stem. Now these were released back in 2006. So they've been out for quite some time. Take a closer look here at the My Melody Pest Dispenser. And you'll see that the head is crystal. And then on the stem of all of these, they have a lot of print on them. And it's not just on the front like you normally see. There's print on the side. So I love these. <laughs> these are so great. Actually, I'm trying to think of other pest dispensers that have the print down the side like this. And off the top of my head, I cannot think of any other ones. I don't know, there has to be, but maybe not. But let me know if you can think of any other ones that have the print down the side of the stem like this. You can tell me in the comments below if you remember. I'm gonna have to look that up like right after I'm finished making this video here. <laughs> but these are so great. This My Melody Pest Dispenser has My Melody's head and it's mostly pink crystal with a little yellow bow. And the stem is a pink color that matches the head really well. And then printed on the stem, there's little flowers and hearts and M's in the hearts. And on the side, there's four hearts going down each side. But doesn't this one just look really great? I love it. <laughs> what a great start. I guess next up we'll look at Hello Kitty. Oh my gosh, so cute. So there you go. Take a closer look at this Hello Kitty pest dispenser. See how the little bows are printed on the side? This Hello Kitty pest dispenser has a clear crystal Hello Kitty head for the head. And then there's a crystal red bow on the head as well. The stem is white, but it has a lot of red bows printed on it on the front and four bows on the side. And in the middle on the front, there's a K and a T inside of a square. It's so cool. I love it. Oh, this one's great. <laughs> this one's so cute. I love the Hello Kitties when they have the little animals or whatever on top of their heads. In this case, this is a rabbit. So this one's Hello Kitty with rabbit and take a closer look there at it. <laughs> See the little rabbit on top of Hello Kitty's head? This Hello Kitty with rabbit pet dispenser is Hello Kitty's crystal clear head for the head. And on top of the head, there's the clear crystal rabbit. And Hello Kitty has light pink flowers in her hair. The stem is light blue, but printed on it, there's a lime green heart and a light pink heart and a K and a T. And in the middle, there's a pink flower. But on the side, there's a pink flower, 
a lime green heart, a blue flower, and a pink heart. The colors on these are just so nice and I just love all the decorations on the stems. And the last one here I have a really hard time pronouncing its name. I even looked online and tried to listen to some pronunciations of it so I'm just gonna give it a go. <laughs> so I think it's pronounced Koro Koro Korean and you can also see it just called Korean I think on the pest site but I looked up the little hamster type Sanrio character and Koro Koro Korean is what, at least that's how I think I should pronounce it. <laughs> if you're a Sanrio expert, let me know in the comments, but it's really hard to figure out like the pronunciations on these Japanese characters. But take a closer look there at this one. It's so cute. I love this one a lot. I just like this pest dispenser in general and then to have this crystal variation of it, it just looks so nice. <laughs> this Koro Koro Korean pest dispenser is Koro Koro Korean's head for the head and it's a yellow and like a clear crystal mix. I think it might just be the yellow paint on top of a clear crystal head. And then the stem is a light yellow. And then printed on the stem there's little flowers on the front it says C and K inside the two stars. And then printed down the side there's four flowers which looks so nice. I just noticed with this Hello Kitty with rabbit, it has the rabbit has a little bottom here. You probably saw it when it spun on the video but... <laughs> Check that out! Isn't that cute? <laughs> oh my gosh, so cute! I missed that detail the first time around. <laughs> these were only sold in Japan, so it made it a lot harder to get these. That's the reason I think that, you know, they're $80 for the set. And if you buy them from somebody over in Japan, you end up paying something like $25 or something to ship them here. But I was lucky to find Drew that was in the United States here. I really appreciate it Drew for you know saving these and shipping them to me after the Pez convention. I know it probably gets really hectic you know people wanting stuff all the time online or you know to ship them to us so I really appreciate it. And I need to keep an eye on the next convention when it happens because if people are willing to ship me Pez you know why like the virtual Pez convention or someone is streaming online <laughs> You can pet shop online like super easy and I thought that was really great. So thanks again Drew and thanks again Virtual Pest Convention for streaming live. <laughs> Let me know in the comments below what you think about these Hello Kitty Crystal Pest Dispensers. Do you have them in your pest collection? I'd love to hear from you. That's it for this video. I do want to say that if you want to help support this channel, I'd love for you to buy me a pest dispenser. I set up a buy me a coffee. The link is down below in the description. So if you want to help support this channel, you can buy me a pest dispenser. I'd really appreciate it. Or another way to support the channel is just making sure that you're subscribed to the channel. You're going to learn all about pest collecting from me. I've been collecting pests for over 25 years. Too long, I don't even like to say. That's how long. <laughs> but if you're already subscribed to the channel and you really enjoyed this video just give it a thumbs up or feel free to share any of my Pez videos with any other Pez collectors. They probably would enjoy them as well. And if you're not following me on Instagram, TikTok, or Facebook, I'm Eric Collects Pez on all those. I just made a day in my life video over on TikTok and Instagram. So go check that out at least. <laughs> it was a lot of fun to make that and hopefully I can make some more of those because I know people like, you know, my Pez vlog videos. I don't always do the Pez vlogs. I like to do the sit down videos as well. So if you can't get enough of the Pez vlogs, then, you know, go make sure you're following me on Instagram, TikTok, I'm Eric Collects Pez on both of those again so you can see more behind the scenes of what I'm up to during the week. And another way to support the channel is just by watching my videos. I really really appreciate it. <laughs> so as always thanks for watching and I'll see you Sunday. Bye! I write to you in poetry with words left on the shelf Full of dust you'll know it's me and from nobody